Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you MySQL CRUD operation. Basically, so this is MySQL tutorial in which I'm going to create a database and then table, define the table columns, insert values, update it. Uh, delete it and read from the table columns so all four CRUD operations using terminals so as long as you have access to your my SQL or SQL server with terminal command prompt you will be able to follow this tutorial so let's get started now so this is my Ubuntu 2004 and I assume that you already have installed MySQL server on your system. Now let's get started. To log in, I simply have to type MySQL U root name. So that's username basically. You can replace it with your username. Type in your password and this is MySQL 8. You can see here. Going to clear the screen by pressing Ctrl L, and now I can go ahead and show you my databases. So, as you might know, MySQL is not a case sensitive language. I can simply type in lowercase, or in a case, does not matter, you will get the same result. Okay, but it's good practice to use uppercase for MySQL queries and commands. So first thing first, let's go ahead and create a database. So to create a database, you simply type create and database. Similarly, when you have to create a table, you type create table, but make sure you are in the database where you want to create the table. So I'm going to say demo DB. And always remember, whenever you are done with your query, simply put semicolon at the end and hit enter so this is going to create a database always it's a good idea to go ahead and check for typos before you press enter so create database demo db you can see it says query okay one row affected if i go ahead and just run the previous command which is show databases by pressing up arrow key on the keyboard I will be able to see the added database now we need to switch or change the database switch into the new database created so you simply say use and the database name so this is demo db semicolon and database changed show tables if you want to check the tables in it but you do not have any table in it okay so we are going to create a table. So to create a table, you simply say create table and then the name of the table. And then we are going to define at the same time the columns for the table. So table name is going to be students and we are going to define what the table is going to have the call the the call in the columns. So first is going to be std which is an integer data type and it's also a primary key so we are done with the first column the second would be table uh, sorry column that's going to be student's name so student name which is going to be var character of oops hundred and so 240 characters up to 240 characters you cannot have it null okay the third could be std program so what program a student has program this is also going to be var character and 240 character up to 200 not null simple the last thing we are going to have std stream whether it's english hindi or whatever french 
this will be stream and this is also going to be a bar character data type we can have 100 up to 100 character not now so that's our column definition we will go ahead and check for the typos so create table students std id integer primary key std name bar character 240 not null std program bar character 240 not null std stream bar character 100 not null okay now you can go ahead and simply press enter query okay zero rows affected if i go ahead and run the show tables command you will have one table if you want to see what column do we have in the table you simply say explain explain and then the table name to oops, event so this is what we have in the table students table we have std id name std program std stream and these are the character types N not null this is primary key default null, null extra nothing extra now so this is time to insert some values in the table rows so to insert anything you simply say insert into and then the table name so this is student okay then you can tell this query where you want to insert the value so you can pick specific column name here but we are going to keep everything in order so std id std name std program std stream hopefully everything is right and then you simply say values and now you can enter values in here so first one is going to be one name std name it's going to be guru singha and then we have program is going to be let's say VCA stream is going to be English okay so we are done here and you can see so insert we are inserting data into the tables rows uh, insert into students this is the name of the table we are this mentioning our column names here okay so this could go like in order and even not in order as well so okay so you name uh, program stream values one two sorry name bca english i can go ahead and hit enter and you can see one row affected now we can go ahead and insert more values but this time without mentioning the uh, column names so when you don't mention the column names the only thing you have to keep in mind that your values must be in the same order as your columns are defined and also this is primary key this has to be unique every time Raj Guru Singh, and this is going to be B. Let's say this is Hindi. So go ahead and insert mm, one more third. We come.
English. Now let's go ahead and hit enter. So this is how you insert values into your tables using terminal. The next stuff we're going to do, we're going to read from the table, so all the values. Clear the screen by pressing Ctrl L. This can, may not work on Windows. So if you're using PowerShell, it may work. Okay, so now let's the other uh, uh, select. So you simply say select. Now this means everything from and then the name of the table. So students, you can see we got everything from the table. So all the rows. If you have to. Where if you have to just pick one std id oops, equal to one, you get just one. So if you just want to check specific id or specific program, you can go ahead and do that, and this will go ahead and filter all your data and read from the data. So this is how you read tables in MySQL or SQL, SQL simply. Okay, to update a database, you simply go ahead and use this command. So update, up to update a table, okay, table row. So you simply use update and then the table name, which is going to be, sorry, yeah, table name is two dents. Uh, you set something up to so set Let's say I want to set the stream std stream to uh, yes, French where std id is so make sure your query and command is okay so let's go ahead and check update students set std stream French where std ID is two. row matched changed warning now let's go ahead and select everything from where std id was 2 you can see this has been updated all right so this is how you update table rows and table column values the other thing you if you want to delete something from a table so you simply use table uh, sorry delete command which is delete I'm sorry Oops, delete and then table name students where so where std id because id is primary key and it's unique all the time sorry guys so here we go delete students where std id is to delete to dense okay so delete from students I'm really sorry Oops. so remember it's a delete from students where ID because you're not deleting students you're deleting from students yeah and now if I go ahead and run select everything so you do not have the student ID 2 row in here so this is how you perform everything in like CRUD operation create read update delete in SQL using MySQL 
through terminal so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions suggestions leave in the comment below i will try to answer it asap thank you for watching goodbye for now